podcast. But guys, um, you guys know our focus. It's just plugging into the system. I think we can all, as leaders, um, the leaders that are on here, the builders, just do do what you can to check in with your people, right? We don't want to chase anybody. We don't want to babysit anybody. Um, a lot of a lot of rookie leader mistakes that all of us have made. Me me at my own peril, big time, a lot of times. But you know, you can't care more than they, they do, right? Um, but you do want to make sure that they know what's available to them, when it's available, and how important it is to success here. That's that's the main thing. And as long as you guys are doing that with all your agents, the right ones are going to do it. Then, and, and the ones that maybe this isn't a fit for at this point in their life or vice versa are not. And that's, and that's as simple as that. But all I ask from you guys is you do those, those three things, right? The what, the when, and the why. And, and the rest will take care of itself. Who had the pleasure of attending Joe's uh, production training today? Nice. Was it as phenomenal as as it uh, appeared to be? Rex Knight Jr., that's just amazing. Nice to see a lot of nodding. That's awesome. That's great. Great, great. He, he was he was able to pour so much more in than he did on the national call uh, and just added so much value. Like, we need a, where's that recorded at? It said it's in uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, I'm going to text that's Joe, right? That, was that yeah, because they were talking so fast uh, and you couldn't write everything down, but he, he's like, I I'm talking fast cause I want to pour as much into you guys as possible. So <laughs> find the recording. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's great, man. Um, great. I'm so glad. Hopefully some of your agents had, had an opportunity. Is Oscar coming, coming, uh, Randy? I just wanted to check. Talk about a new guy that's doing all the right things. I was just surprised to not see him, but let me get on to this PowerPoint. Share my screen. And we'll begin. We'll wrap it up with some Q&A. So if you guys want to talk about anything in particular, we'll go through it. Um and for what it's worth, I didn't feel so bad. I've got a couple of clips we're going to play today, and and one of them is is from a is from a meeting from a very prominent person here at SFG, and I saw their master agency meeting was an hour and seventeen minutes. So I don't feel so bad, no, and no graphics, no nothing. So I think we're on the right track here. Let me get my screen shared, and bear with me because again, we're we're getting more and more refined as we go, but I'm going to have to play DJ here and, and make sure I'm sharing the right stuff with you guys. All right, you could see the new bar roundup, right? Mark, do you want me to share it? And then I'll give you control to click through the slides. Uh, well, now that I'm sharing, I think we're okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. Because <laughs> I do have, gosh, I can't wait. I need a turntable here because I can't wait. I've got a couple videos to show, so we're going to switch. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but thank you for that so much. It looks like you have a guest, Betsy. Are you gonna? Are you gonna yeah, I'll introduce her uh, in just a minute when I'm when I'm talking about. <clears throat> oh, one more person to hop in, and then I'll introduce them both. I love it. Oh, why does my down arrow work? See, there we go. All right, so guys, we're gonna start with leaderboards, right? This is gonna be uh, pretty close to our weekly format, um, and I hope this will, um, you know, really start to catch on. You know, Kim will be posting our meetings to the YouTube channel, so. If, you know, you have somebody that really wanted to tune in, but they couldn't, right, for any reason, just point them to the YouTube channel and know that they'll be able to get the roundup. Um, Kim, would you add one task to to this? If, you know, just like we do in the cook group, can we send out an SMS once this is uploaded to YouTube? It can be the next day, no no hurry, but just send out an SMS saying, hey, in case you missed the new bow roundup, here's, you know, here's a link, link to the Okay, correct. Yeah. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you for that. Um, as if I haven't asked enough of you the last two days. I feel so bad. I'm almost scared to talk to Kim today. She's been, you've been amazing, Kim. I just have to say that. Um, for what it's worth, guys, a lot of our correspondence is via text. And, you know, text versus, text has no tone. And I feel like I've been really bossy lately. But I hope you know that I'm I'm not being bossy, Kim. I'm just, I just, for the greater good, I want to make sure we got everything in check and you've been super amazing. So thank you for everything. All right, let's see. 
So here we go with the leaderboards. We have, this is great. Okay, Mark Neubauer, that's that's kind of cheating. This is actually a lot of the Roberts Agency right here. We had to borrow some writing numbers. So I'm not gonna take credit for this. This is just the way that the that Snapshot reports it. But Danelle Roberts, Mark Neubauer, David Roberts, all, all help pitched in for number three here. Um, number two, Nate Brown from the Betsy Bar Agency. Look at that, $6,800 APV. Get it, Nate! Oh, that's amazing, Nate. And right when you think that couldn't be beat, in comes Crystal Guerra with, I'm positive that's capped. So Randy Johnson Agency, 7,500 APV. What was the actual? I saw it just now on a theme, but I'll let you uh, do the honors. Uh, it was a $300,000 annuity. So it was, you know, just under 15,000. Wow. That's amazing. Great job. I, I have a question. When is poor Danelle going to be able to like, when will she have all her numbers so that she actually gets the credit on these leaderboards and we see Ever. her name? <laughs> that is a great, great question. I, I wish we had the answer. And all I can tell you is anytime you see my name, it is 100% her that is doing the production. So just replace my name with hers. <laughs> Likewise, lately, I think that I think the last three times I made leaderboards, at least half of that was from Danelle. No kidding. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm going to delay her contracting as long as possible. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sad. We're just having some real, it's just a, I'm going to say it's a shit show with agent sync and whatnot. Um, but I think we're, I think we are getting to the bottom of all that. I think, and, and I credit our agency. I think we've made enough noise to the, to the right people that they're really understanding what it is they need to pay attention to um, when they're bringing people over. So that that should be speeding up in no time, guys. Um, arrow function, there we go. So apps, number of apps. Uh, Joe Venti with three apps last week. Uh, Mark Neubauer with three. Um, actually, oh yeah, the one we had to rewrite. So one of those is mine. Two of those are David and Danelle's. Um, we'll say Danelle because David clarified. Um, and the number one uh, app writer, this is just amazing. I got to edify Dominic Austin here, but first we have to edify the the one that, that, that made it happen initially, and that's Kim Berry. So Kim Berry is a brand new agent from the Johan Restituyo agency. Johan and Kelly Restituyo, you guys may not have met them yet, but this is a power couple out of Houston, Texas with a sizable agency. Johan and I probably went back and forth for about a month before he decided that symmetry was where they wanted to plant their flag. And they've dealt with all of the nightmares that that we've been hit with on agent sync and appointments and have really stuck it out and and just been been troopers all the way through. One of their new agents, Kim Barry, um, wrote six apps. She may have Danelle be here. I hate to say it, but she wrote six apps in two days. What was Danelle's record? Two or three days? Two weeks, three days. Mine was like five or six days. That's amazing. This is warm market, guys, that some of it and some of it not. Uh, Kim, I'd have to clarify, but what's amazing, and maybe Dominic, you can answer, but what I love about our team, guys, is that Kim wasn't necessarily appointed with everybody yet. She had just gotten started. She wasn't sure how to run an appointment. Dominic Austin stepped in, met with Johan, and said, I'm going to help any and all of your agents. Just let me know who. And he sat on appointments, he's helped write appointments, he's put them on their numbers. So Dominic, I can't thank you enough for your leadership here. If you've got anything to add to that, by all means, please do. Because this was, you know, this this was just amazing partnership by, by Dominic and Kim getting this done. And Kim, um, I don't think you're on here, but we're so proud of, of Johan and Kelly and everything that they're doing to plug their agents into the right things and the right people. And Dominic, I can't thank you enough for stepping up and saying, hey, I'll help your agency. What do you need? Perfect timing, really, is, is what it was. I um, I asked her how long she was here at the symmetry. And that Friday of that week, which was last week, was her last day to qualify for a season new agent. So, so she went ahead. So we got her some apps in, and then she went ahead and she finished the remaining three um on her own to qualify as he's a new as he's a new agent so oh so that's amazing so danelle okay danelle you guys hold different records i like this so danelle achieved hers in three days from the start 
And Kim showed that when the fire's under your feet, what you have two days left. Yeah. Cranks out six apps and makes it happen. Just amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. So she was, yeah, so she was right there um, at the, uh, um, at the deadline. Wow. I so. thank you for the work, man. And Kim, great job. Um, I think there's some great things ahead for you. I know there are, especially if you keep up this level of activity. And just so you know, guys, I, 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 there, there really should be, um, in, in this instance, I, I believe in participation trophies because I know a lot of you are putting in a lot of work, a lot of activity, and I promise activity solves everything. So whether it's a one-week drought, a three-week drought, it doesn't matter. Whether it takes you a day, a week, or months to learn it like it did Andrew Jimenez, right? You've still got that multi-million dollar um, legacy in front of you so long as you just keep doing it, right? Plugging in, putting in, in the activity. Mohammed, I love seeing an app from you yesterday. I keep, I, I keep pinching myself. He's not in Africa anymore. Like, Mohammed's back. He's on our team. He's on the <laughs> I love it. So that was great. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. I got a couple more in the pipeline. Good. Love it. Of the week, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, recruits, uh, we got the machine back on. So anybody that wants to really step up their, their recruiting game, Mind you, these are licensed contracted recruits. So this doesn't count people that we're hiring that are entering licensing or just getting into licensing, right? These are people that are ready to write business uh, because remember, albeit we've got some hiccups with agent sync, you can always submit as a guest. Don't say anything to know through American Amicable and Mutual of Omaha. And, um, and if you've really got a case that none of those will handle, Come to us. We can help you figure it out, right? We don't want you to. We don't want you to miss anything. Um, let me see one second. Somebody asked me about the meeting. All right. Um, there we go. So recruits in Sam Harrington. Congratulations. Uh, one licensed contracted recruit, David Roberts, one licensed contracted recruits, and Randy Johnson, topping it out number one with two licensed contractor recruits. Thank you guys so much. I mean, you guys are you guys are on track. You know, it's it's 10 interviews a week. If you can get 10, you know what Brandon and Casey say, just so you guys know, 10 contracts a month will have you sustaining your business, right? 20 contracts a month will have you, no, I'm sorry, 10 contracts a month will have you growing your business. 20 contracts a month will have your business exploding, okay? So just remember, as long as we can fall somewhere in the 10 to 20 contracts a month, the way the numbers play out, the way human nature plays out, I always hate talking about numbers and people, right? Because we're here to help people. We're all, we're a people business. We care about people first. This is all about helping people realize their dreams as far as I'm concerned, because that's what it's done for me. And I really do put my heart into recruiting, but just like the gym, I think I've told you guys this story. I joined the gym once and I was, I was, my member number was 1036. And I said, it was a tiny gym. I said, Hey, how do you guys come up with these numbers out of curiosity? And he said, Oh, that just means you're, you're the 1036 person to have a membership. And I said, Jesus, I said, well, it'd be quite a fire hazard if everybody decided to work out in the same day. Like, what, what happens if everybody works out? And he said, they never will. They never will. Human nature. It's, you know, they get excited. They, they make their New Year's resolution. They want to lose weight. And then they find out there's work in it, right? And then they find out you have to grow yourself in order to, to form a discipline and develop a habit and make it a something consistent. And then... You got to find out after two, three weeks, you might not notice anything, right? You might not notice anything in the first couple months, but you're on the treadmill, you're sweating, you're eating healthier. Why do this, right? And then they leave. And that's kind of like symmetry. I, I always like to compare symmetry to the gym because if anybody has ever worked on transforming their body, you know how hard it is. You know how, how much you have to grow to do it. And you know that it becomes a lifestyle, not not diets don't work. We've already proven that, right? You, you'll just you'll just go back to where you were. You'll just shrink because if you're not growing, you're shrinking, and if you're not shrinking, you're growing. Uh, none of us are in stasis, right? So that's important to remember. 
uh, when building your business and and when you're having tough times here at Symmetry. Um, I, you can work your butt off at the gym for two, three weeks, and it's going to get real frustrating when you look in the mirror and you still have that that vision of your old self, right? And a lot of times, not to get too preachy, but, you know, and I hope I'm I'm not offending anybody. I know there's, I know it's so tough to talk about certain things right now, but, you know, when it comes to eating disorders and things like that, um, I dated a girl in high school with an eating disorder and it really impacted her. And what I learned when I was dating her was even when you, even when you were thin, right? Because back then it was either you're thin or you're fat, right? So even when you were thin, when you looked in the mirror, you couldn't see that. You still saw the fat person, right? Um, that kind of touches me because I was a, I was a fat kid, and again, I dated the, I I dated her in high school and really understood what it what it meant to have that and just how how quiet, um, you get and how in the background you get with those things. Um, you don't want to talk to anybody a buddy about it, right? And the things you do to maintain that you're doing in secret, and it's not good for you uh, to do that, right? And that's very much like our journey here at Symmetry. When when you're when you've got that kind of false vision of yourself because of the history, even when you achieve a little success, it's hard to look in the mirror and see that that you're growing, right? And you're changing. But I want you guys to realize that you are growing and you are changing as long as you're plugging in, as long as you're doing everything, as long as you're putting in the activity, it's going to change your life. You're going to grow. You're going to develop new habits. So, and you heard Val on the huddle if you were there today, fishing versus farming, right? And when we're when we're growing a business, um now granted he talks about fishing because yeah we can make income this week if we buy enough leads and we make enough calls right um that's that's fishing you just throw it in and get it but farming takes time and you're not going to see those results for maybe a couple months or more but i promise you just like the bamboo right remember the video from last week the bamboo will sprout out over over a matter of days and it's pretty exciting um i'm gonna keep clicking on this to use my arrow all right, APV, number three. Wow, look at these numbers for the for the month. So we're in the monthly leaderboards of January. Um, guys, any one of these numbers were probably our monthly numbers about a year ago. Uh, no kidding. This is growth. And this is what all of you have the opportunity to do and be. Um, I, You guys hear about it. It's no joke. I was putting bananas back at the grocery store when I got in line and realize I, I miscalculated as, uh, as to what I'm hoping to buy and what I had in my pocket, right? That's me when I started Symmetry. So to know that that we've gone from that to this is, I'm just so grateful for the opportunity and grateful to share that opportunity. And I hope you guys understand the impact that it's going to have on you and your families and your legacies, so long as you just stick through those, those tough times and make it happen, right? And more than anything, spread the word. Guys, one of the reasons I grew so fast is I, I understood from the beginning that recruiting was the most important part of the model here. Um, not because you're making money off of other people, right? That's just a that's just a backward attitude. It's about sharing something that that look meant so much for me over time. I want to share that as soon as I can, right? I know, I've seen it. Right, you've heard it on the calls, you've heard it in books, you've heard it everywhere. 80% of the people are essentially sheep and they're just gonna do and be the status quo, no matter how hard you try. But some of those people don't wanna be in that pool, right? None of us wanted to be in that pool, that's why we're here. Some of those people don't wanna be in that pool and they don't know how to get out. And it's up to us to show them that there is a way out of that pool. Come into the 20%, that want to grow, that want to that want to grow beyond you know their their previous expectations or realizations, and that's that's what recruiting is about for me. Is showing somebody a system and a culture and an ecosystem that is has been developed from day one and continues to be something that is developed to serve the people that are willing to plug in and put in the work in 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 a way bigger than than we serve them. And that's what Brandon, Brian, and Casey have founded here. And that's what they put together for us. So that's why we're getting these kind of numbers. And, and that's why I want you guys to understand why we talk about recruiting so much. I don't want you to, I don't want you to ever think it's, it's something tacky or something surface or all about the numbers, right? No, the numbers are a byproduct. 
it's changing people's lives. That's that's what I'm doing when I'm interviewing. So, and I know that's what the other leaders are doing too. Like we've got such heart in our leadership and in our agency. And I love that. I love our team. Uh, so monthly APV, Dominic Austin with 13,000 last month. Wow, what a close one. Jay Reese, just brand spanking new on Randy Johnson's team. Uh, Jay Reese with 13,314. And sorry, I'll read the whole thing. Dominic with $13,150.87. Jay Reese with $13,314.31. And Betsy Barr Agency, Nate Brown, Dominance Financial, uh, $20,705.71 for the month of January. That sounds like key leader numbers to me, Nate. I like that. I know he's getting there. It's coming soon. Is this month one? We, we're home. We're waiting for snapshot. Oh my God. Let's get that issued. We got the writers. Yep. Let's go. Uh, Let's get it. All right, Nate, I'm not cursing it. I'm crossing my fingers. I'm praying. Nate, you got this month one KL. That is amazing. Um, wow. Look at this monthly apps. Danelle Roberts, nine apps. Now, mind you guys, what we're going to be doing in the future is we're going to list, we'll list everybody, right? Um, uh, Kim and Betsy and I are working on, on a format uh, that we really like, but right now we're just going with the previously planned format, the top three. But all of you should be applauded for the activity and the work that you put in. Um, number three, Danelle Roberts with nine apps. Dominic Austin squeezing in at number two with 10 applications. And Nate Brown, once again, you're all over these leaderboards, guys. Um, Nate Brown with 12 applications last month. That's awesome. Um, monthly leaderboards for recruits. Sam Harrington rounding out number three, licensed contracted guys. This doesn't include people that we've hired that are not licensed or contracted yet. Um, David Roberts with four and Steve Devine with seven. Wow, Steve, seven licensed contractor recruits. That's pretty awesome. Um, new writers. I love it. Speaking to Steve Devine and his agency, Devine Business Group, we have Delisha Verse. Congratulations, Delisha. Um, she is actually only two apps away from SNA. So Delisha's, Delisha's making it happen, um, starting with her warm market, right? Guys, there's nothing wrong with your warm market when there's a drought or a lack of a lead budget. That's when you go talk to the barber, right? That's when you go talk to your massage therapist. That's when you go talk to the pastor. Um, and you can make it happen. Your family. Guys, do you know what an IUL can do for a kid? Do you? If you don't, ask your upline. We're talking multi-million dollars for, for what most people spend on clothes or video games in a month. Easy. You're talking about making them millionaires um, in the prime of their life. It's pretty amazing. Um, so talk to your family, guys. Joe Venti, love it, love it. Joe Venti on the on the Roberts Agency team. And Jay Reese, Randy Johnson, rounding out at number one. Uh, love it, love it, love it. That's awesome work, guys. I'm wiping my face because I realize I'm on camera and I had a protein shake and I had tea in this. Who knows what's on my face? So don't judge, guys. I'm, I am hygiene forward, uh, but I'm actually going to the gym after this instead of before this time. Let's see. On the grow. Here we go. This is everybody doing 10 plus interviews a week. Why do we measure that? Well, again, we're a fintech company and we know what counts and we count what counts. And what Brandon and Brian have found, that if you do at least 10 interviews a week, you're going to be on the grow. Your agency will be growing. Again, like the gym, you're not going to see the results right away. And if you expect results right away, you're going to get frustrated. So manage expectations, right? If you knew that that you had a, a you know a box that was going to have you know a pearl in it, right, worth a million dollars, but you couldn't open it for four months, would you try to just crack that thing open in month two and and see that there's a pearl and then be all pissed off because there wasn't a pearl? No, because you understand. Now, if you didn't know. And someone said, hey, eventually this is going to have a, a million dollar pearl in it. And you crack it open every week. You're going to start to get tired of it. Six weeks, you might not even believe that a pearl's, a pearl's growing in there, right? Because you don't know the metrics. And that's why understanding the metrics here is so important. So one of the metrics is 10 interviews a week. We've got Amanda Shaw, Amber Welch, Angie Arnett, Betsy Barr, Angie Gervasio, 
Betsy Barr, David Roberts, Eric Rush, Johan Restituyo, Mark Neubauer, Nate Brown, Randy Johnson, Samantha Harrington, Shane, not Marshall, Shane Whalen, Steve Devine, and Rhea Israel. Wow, guys. The Thank real you. Shane Whalen here, not, not the fake one. Not the fake at, one. At, at the top of you know, symmetry, yeah. <laughs> just just trade. <laughs> as long as he gets your writing number and we can switch, we'll be fine, right? Hey, as, as I say, if, if, if they just want to put me in as partner, I, I'm all for it. So <laughs> for those of you that aren't aware of what we're yeah. talking about, Y'all know Marshall Whalen. He's at the very top of the of symmetry. He's the number one organization. His full name is Shane Marshall Whalen. My full name is Michael Shane Whalen. So we basically have the same name as far as symmetry is concerned. So there's been a lot of issues with that, but that's what we're joking around about. We're yeah, two yeah, people in one organization with the exact same name. I can't believe it. When I found out his legal name was Shane Whalen, I just yeah. thought. Uh, I, I told you all when I came on, this is my kind of luck. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I love it, dude. SNA, there we go. Kim Berry, we gave it away earlier in the call, but wow, Kim, we are so impressed, so proud. Way to go. She had 48 hours left, guys. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Dominic, but I think you said she cranked out all six apps in those last two days to make it happen. Uh, that's amazing. Great yeah. job. Love it, love it. All right, those of you who are just tuning in, um, well, you, you missed the leaderboards, uh, but we're, we're going to get into the meat of things now, uh, but don't get in the habit of missing leaderboards. I'm glad you're here, better late than never, um, but, uh, but I just wanted you guys to know we're now getting into everything, so um, we will have this up on YouTube in about a day or so, and, and you'll be able to catch it there. Um, a lot of great things to celebrate here. I have to keep clicking on it to use my down arrow. All right, guys, priority calls for everyone. You guys know what these are. And I, I want to get these on. Um, we'll get these on one slide for next week. But um, just so you know, we've got our Monday call at 1030. We've got our national call on Wednesdays, right? Kim, for, for future, I'll send you an example of the slide, but I like what we have on the SFG agent success where it's just that one strip of calls. But we'll, just so you we'll have all of it. That one wasn't. We'll have it all. Okay, awesome, awesome. It's gonna, uh, be, it's gonna be ready next week. Don't worry. There's me being bossy again. Uh, <laughs> no, it's okay. We just we were improvising at the last minute, but it's not it will happen again. I promise. No, I love it, you guys. Please don't don't let it happen again. So, <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. So the priority calls, guys. Monday hierarchy national call. Wednesday national builders and and uh, national call. And then, of course, these are big time. The huddle up this morning was great with Val Zarn. Leaders, builders, the, 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 if you could only do one thing with your agents, it'd be to plug into all of these calls. If you're like, Mark, I can, uh, my agent said I can only tell them one thing that will change the entire trajectory of their career here. I'm not allowed to give them any other advice. I can't point them to training. I can't go here. I can't. What would I do? It'd be to be on these calls, guys. There is nothing more important than plugging in if you want to succeed at Symmetry. And that includes live events. You should be relentless about how many events and, and calls you can make that we recommend. Now, mind you, there's a plethora of calls outside of the ones that we're saying are important. If you do all of those, you're going to become a professional student and, and you won't accomplish anything. You're, you're going to learn a lot but you won't put any of it into action because because you only have 24 hours in a day. So anything extra, do off hours, please. I always say that. Make your part-time job learning the, the other stuff, right? That's just what a professional, that's what an entrepreneur does, right? In, in any business, I've got another business outside of this. I'm, I'm working late into the night. I'll be researching and reading and everything else, right? But I'm not doing that during my work hours. During my work hours, I'm working. During my work hours, I'm putting in income producing activity. That's producing, that's building, right? And the and the most important component is plugging in so that you, it's esoteric guys, it's, it, it's intangible. I can't even say why. Just know that that's the most important thing that you and yours can do. Now, I'm always preaching to the choir because if I say it, it means you're already here. 
But I do implore you as leaders to let your team know how important this stuff is. Um, and as I said at the beginning of the call, some of you came in a little late. You, you just don't babysit, don't chase. That's not your job, right? You're, you're a leader. You're not a babysitter. You're, you're not a cattle wrangler, right? You're not a cat herder. Um, and that's how it can feel sometimes. And if you do that, you're taking away from the agents that deserve your time. You're taking away from the agents that have earned your time, right? So you can't do that. But what you can and should do as a leader is make sure they know that it exists, right? What it is, that's the calls. Where and when it is, right? Right here, right? We got it right here. And why? And the why is because people that don't plug in, they, they, they don't last. Not one of the people at the top, nobody yet in the history of symmetry is 12 years has made it to the top levels and, and not plugged in or gone to conference, right? That's just a fact. It's a fact. It's not something I'm making up that sounds great. And I hope this is true because it really works. No, it's a fact. Um, and you'll see that when you get around people at conference and talk to the people that you maybe emulate here or want to ask questions about, hey, how'd you go from here to here in such a short amount of time? They're going to tell you the number one thing is MACC, that's Massive Action Constant Correction, and plugging in. Because as you've heard a million times, I, I might have a lamp. It might be the prettiest lamp in the world. It, it might be the, the most, uh, the brightest lamp in the world. But if I don't plug it in, it's not going to work, right? It, it's just a lamp that, that has no function except for a decorative one. And uh, most decorative lamps don't make money unless they work. So these are the priority calls. You guys have them on the SFG agent success site. These are the calls here. Um, and right here is really important. For those of you that are new or have new agents, please know these are the calls that we've got kind of lower attendance on now because they're newer calls, but I also think they're, they're overlooked. So number one, well, you know this one, it's orientation. So anybody that's here has been to orientation. If you're recruiting, the first thing you should do after you hire somebody is send them to sign up for orientation, right? On sfgagentsuccess.com. I'm going to go over that in a minute. The spark call. Thank you to Michael Shane Whalen for initiating the spark call. So spark is all about getting you assimilated here in the beginning, right? Because you've got all the stuff in HQ you've got to do. You've got agent sync. You've got stuff coming in for appointments. You've got to upload your ENO. There's all this stuff that a lot of new people, you know, they're, they're wondering, well, why haven't I been contracted and why is this taking so long? And then we go into agent sync and find out, well, you didn't fill out this form or you didn't click this button. And, and that's understandable because ever since the beginning of, of time in this industry, there's been contracts flying at you left and right. When Steve and I did it, they were paper. We had to hopefully get the email. Then we had to print them. Then we had to fax them, believe it or not, or scan them in. And that was per carrier. And if we didn't do it, that was on us. Well, did you get the email? Do a Google search? Oh, I guess I did two months ago. That's why I'm not, right? So there's a lot of responsibility on, on the agent that Shane is going to help with every Tuesday night. So until you're appointed with everybody, until you really feel like, great, I don't need that call anymore, please attend the Spark call. And leaders, get your new people on at least one of these. They can decide if it's extraneous after that. All right. These are not must calls. This third slide are the, hey, I highly recommend if you if you are in your first, you know, six apps or your first um, six weeks, you know, whichever, whichever comes first. Um, be on be on the spark call and 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 uh, just start to get your foot in. Once you find that, oh, OK, I did all that. Great. Say hi to Shane and, and go on your way. Um the Ignite call. Shane, do you want to say anything about the Spark call? Did I did I uh, describe it properly? Um, yeah, yeah, you, you did fine. The only thing I would, me personally, you know, I always got something to say. But um, oh, yeah. for for all managers, look the 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 point of the call is to really help your people, um, help your people get through those initial stages and make sure they're doing everything they need to do to really get to that next level to where they are right in business. So get everybody on there. Let's see if I can help them. I can help them. If I can't, I'll send them back to you. But 
you know, I'll, I'll show them opt. I'll show them how to set up the calendars, show them how to set up their own automated reminders for everything. I'm, I'm, it's really there to help them make sure that they're staying accountable to themselves um, and moving forward pro appropriately. So, um, yeah, and please jump in. Uh, it is a new call. Um, me and Mark, well, Betsy, we agree. Is you know, some things we're going to modify, we're going to change as time goes on, you know, so jump in there. If you got input, please give me input. Uh, things we should add, things we can take away, whatever it may be, but uh, get everybody on there and let's get this thing rocking and rolling. I love it. Thank you so much, man. Um, I have a, okay, good. I have an appointment at one. We're going to go over a few minutes, so I'm just going to make sure I text them. Shane, thank you so hey, much. Mark, I think Yes, please. Sorry, why, why, why you were doing that, I thought I'd just jump in and talk. So we've got the Spark call and the Ignite call. And so I did just want to kind of make a differentiation between what those two things are. So the Spark call is kind of more of the logistical um, background, like, hey, this is what needs to happen practically for you to be kind of here at Symmetry and, and getting things running. So like Opt, HQ, hey, what to expect with contracting? Because contracting does take a while. So just setting proper expectations how to get in, get support tickets, all those things. And, and like Shane was saying, calendars, those are such awesome things that are like just practical things that an agent needs in order to be successful. And so we want to provide those practical steps of all the back end things that, that need to happen so that you can go and write business and be successful. Then the Ignite call in comparison <clears throat> is more of the training for dialing and presentations. And so I know we've not been super consistent with that, but Nate and I have... Um, committed and we're we're in on that so if you are doing any kind of business like if you are doing simplified issue you know term final expense if you're in the advanced market side that dfl iuls college planning annuities anything like that um we'll be on the same zoom we're just going to get into different rooms i'll do training for advanced markets um and nate will be doing training for uh for more simplified issue but that's the difference between the spark call so spark call is think hey all of the the admin things that need to be set up and in place in order for you to go and write business at that high level. Um, so the fire starter is for all people to come in for orientation, get an idea of the agency. Spark is all the admin expectations, um, <clears throat> getting into the software and our programs. And then Ignite is, hey, how do I dial? How do I write business? That's right. Thank you. And great news, guys. I actually have the production training with Rex Knight Jr. So pretty awesome. I'll be sharing that video for attendees only. Um, and then you can uh, and then you can share that with your people leaders if you so desire. That's awesome. Wow, Joe, thank you. Um, and thank you, Betsy. Perfect, perfect. I couldn't have described Ignite better. That is just a fantastic role-playing opportunity for new agents. And super happy that Shane came up with a spark call because um, we want to make sure that you guys get appointed with carriers as soon as possible. And, and that'll be a way to do that. Steve Devine, did you raise your hand? Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know this is a challenge. What do you, what do you think about, I know new agents and I don't know, maybe they've some of them done this right in their first application that they have on a paper application and then just submitting that as opposed to having to wait <clears throat> for contracting. Well, the problem is only only certain carriers will allow that. So that that will work, but only with those just in time carriers. So as much as I love the idea, I don't think it's feasible because the 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 carriers say you must be appointed before you can write or turn in business. That's that's the that's the, the speed bump. That's for certain states and certain carriers, right? It's not all right. That's where it gets a little crazy. My new my new agents already got her writing numbers, and um, and they will again a lot of times. So that's, sporadic, that's, huh? Yeah, and that's why Shane's doing this call because a lot of times we're finding, as much as we 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 know agent sync has its hookups, a lot of it is that agent sync simply requires a lot of engagement and follow up on the agent's part, and the new agents are not being. Um, that's on us. There's no bad students. There's only bad teachers, right? So um, yes, agent. I'm not going to blame us totally because agent sync can be a, kind of a mess, but a lot of times it comes down to 
um, agent, the, the agents just not knowing that, oh, I had to go to my dashboard. And, oh, I had to do this. So managers, you may even want to tune into that spark call the first day and, and or this upcoming Tuesday and see what Shane is pointing out so that you have a better understanding of everything too, right? So don't just say, hey, that's for newbies. If you're a leader, it might be good to get a peek into what's going on behind the scenes there. Yeah, I think getting um, a good point. I think understanding agents think better and just it's 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 challenging and how can we maneuver that better for our agents for ourselves i think makes sense thanks yeah and all the crap that i've been through with agent sync i, I know it pretty freaking well so <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> hey everything for a reason right that could have been your destiny like uh, they put there you, you go i was meant to teach all yes. the new bauer agency agent sync you're the guiding light there i love it <laughs> Hey, that's how it works. Uh, guys, here we go. This is the book of the month. If you don't have it already, why not? We announced it a week ago. Um, remember, we're in a we're in a fast paced business here. Um, and and right in line with that, man, managing energy, not time, is the key to high performance and personal renewal. That's a that's a bold statement, and the book will show you why. Because as you know, we always say calendar everything. Um, you, you can only accomplish so much in 24 hour day and it is important to calendar everything. But what Laura and Schwartz point out in the book here is that managing energy is, is, is the real key here, right? Because you could have a bunch of stuff on your schedule, but if you're not managing your energy properly, A, will you get to it? Will you honor it? And B, are you gonna be intentional during the times that you need to be most intentional? So to be fully engaged, we must be physically energized, emotionally connected, mentally focused, and spiritually aligned with a purpose beyond our immediate self-interest. Think about that, guys. So if you're going into an appointment thinking about commissions, you, you, you already lost, right? Because that's not, that's not service, is it? That's, that's for me. That's not for you. So you're be, with a purpose beyond our immediate self-interest. And that goes to your business as a whole, right? That, that can be self-serving, just the same. Meaning, what is your why? What is your dream? What do you, what do you want this business to accomplish for you? Well, it's not going to happen right away, as we've talked about over and over again, right? That doesn't mean it's not going to happen fast. It can, if you put in the effort and the budget or to substitute budget, warm market, right? It's always there. Um, but as long as you're striving for that greater good, that bigger thing and keep your eye on the prize and do it with intention as the book teaches, um, you're going to be, you're going to be doing really, really good. So pay attention, please. One of, this is part of plugging in the book of the month is part of plugging in. And we, we just discussed how important it is to plug in. And did we say, Hey, hope you finish this book in a month. Nope. Did we say, Hey, hundred dollars, the person who reads this the fastest. Nope. We said read 10 pages a day right? We didn't say read eight. We didn't say read 12. We said read 10. That's baby bear's porridge. It's just the right temperature. It's just the right at everything. And it's going to go down smooth. And you're going to remember what you're supposed to remember. And you're going to get just enough to fulfill you for the day as well. So shouldn't take anybody, but maybe 15, 20 minutes. Um, I love highlighters. I get mine on Kindle. I highlight it there, but highlighters, take notes and watch the magic happen. If you actually take notes and highlight, um, and then employ what you're learning, guys, you're going to expedite your, your business growth um, ex exponentially. I mean, the, the, the speed is just going to pick up big time. All right. Level up leads. Betsy, this is, this is yours. Level up, level up. All right. Hey, you guys. Um, so if you are looking for a place to level up your business, all right, as, um, as we've talked before on these calls, um, I am the co-owner of Level Up. And we have started a new leads division. I know a lot of you guys have already onboarded and thank you so much for uh, believing in us. And I hope that it's already been a benefit to your business. Um, if you want to hop in, go to newbauer.leveluploads.com and sign in through there. That gets you guys the special pricing um, with uh, just available to our new Bauer agents. Um, so be sure that you do that there. And um, and our onboarders will get you get you through. I will let you guys know we are we're backed up. I'm actually hiring a new uh, marketing manager today. Today, hopefully, um, because we we need some more people um, to get all the agents onboarded. There's been some other agencies at Symmetry that are coming on board, but we've got a lot of 
um, we can handle it. We just we just got to get some more people um, to help everybody get through. There's some great training on how to exactly uh, use those leads, close the leads. Um, they're you know high quality. Help if you you can reach out to a couple people here that have already um, hopped on and and have been writing level up leads. Um, but we just hope it can be something of value to you and um, and help you just increase your business. So, anyways, level up leads. Let's go. That's awesome. Thank you, Betsy. And for those that have not, um, if you're ready for, you know, for level up leads, meaning you've got the budget, you've got the, the, you know, you've, you've worked through your mistakes. Um, you're, you're willing to, you know, react quickly to leads because these leads need to be responded to almost immediately. Um, and they are via the text funnel, all kinds of great stuff here. Just so you know, guys, level up is essentially, um, like switchboard. So anytime you hear Symmetry talking about switchboard and Razor Ridge leads, we believe in this agency that Level Up has a, has a leg up on on that platform. It I believe it to be smoother because of Betsy's generosity, Betsy and Javon. We get these at a deep discount, right? So as Betsy described, we get these at only twenty five dollars a piece. I'm paying forty eight dollars a piece for a Razor Ridge lead. These are. Um, derived this, the same way, but I, I actually like Level Up's videos better. And when I talk to a person, I, I can hardly get through my script. They're just, they're just want to hear their options and ready to buy. Um, and I, and I'm, I hope I'm not overselling it there, but that's been my experience so far. Um, they're pretty great. We like to hear that. <laughs> we like to hear it. Um, I did want to just, along with that, um, for the FIFs, I know we've not been <clears throat> promoting it quite as much, um, but guys, remember that if you are, if you're sitting with families, please do reset them, send them over to us. We've got the whole FIF process. Uh, we can help them out with DFL, IULs, uh, college planning, annuities. Um, and, and we, we, this is just an extra way for you to make passive income in your business. So send over those referrals. If you're a part-time agent, um, set a goal for five FIF resets. Oh, not per month, per week. Whoopsie, that should say per week. <laughs> and then you'll get that lead credit and <clears throat> full-time agents, <clears throat> um, 10 resets per week. Go to fifreset.com. This is something that can double your business um, and you don't have to do as much. You could do half the work, but double your business. So, you know, that's good math right there. Awesome, I love it. Hey, uh, Shane didn't know, and I'm sure others didn't either. It's not like we advertise it, but we do have a YouTube channel with a wealth of trainings, resources, everything. Um, Kim, if you have a chance, go ahead and put it in the chat. Otherwise, just look up Newbauer Agency on, on YouTube and you'll see it. Um, some really great stuff there, past calls, past trainings, and all kinds of stuff. And to tag on to what Betsy said, guys, you, you can double plus your business with FIF Reset. You've seen it across our hierarchy ever since Betsy opened this up to the cook hierarchy and, and um, opened the, the the doors and the eyes of, of agents throughout the hierarchy, you can see APVs are higher, app counts are higher, more families are being helped. And that's why we took this on in the first place, right? To help families. And you know, helping families with basic coverage is very important. We don't want anyone to be displaced, but the kind of help that they get from an FIF reset is is life not only life changing but legacy changing. So, how how much do you want to impact people? Right, as much as possible should be the answer. And if that's the answer, and you're not employing this in into your your every appointment, why not? Right, ask yourself that. Better yet, ask yourself, how can I? Right, because we've got the who. It's Betsy's team. It's FIF Reset. Right, at your disposal. All you've got to do is is read the script um it's it's right there in the in the script and if you don't know how to do that betsy when where can they learn uh man we've got a training for it wednesdays 10 30 a.m eastern um it's the, actually the same zoom link and i'll be on and helping everybody um get started with that uh real quick mark i did want to go ahead and introduce our admin team i meant to do that <clears throat> um oh, just a second ago so um, kind of along with the spark call, we just want to make sure everybody knows kind of behind the scenes what is going on to support this agency. Um, so about uh, just shy of a year ago, Mark and I really just combined forces and said, hey, we're going to be better together uh, than than trying to grow things separately. And so we have built up an amazing team of virtual assistants trained by um, Jessica, who, who was the first assistant that came on uh, with me. And so we have uh, Kim. So Kim comes in um, when when your agents have 
come and start with us. She helps with onboarding and contracting. So, um, so when your agents are connecting with, uh, like sending in text messages, she is responding to them. She has times dedicated during the day to, um, to respond to agent inquiries. And so we're really working, um, to, to support her because she has, she really has been overwhelmed because we've been growing so fast. And so Mark and I realized, okay, wow, we've thrown a lot at Kim and we're not providing her with the support that she needs. And so um, Kim, we apologize for that. We just want to edify you publicly and let you know how much you, you mean to all of us and helping us all get on board. And so we're going to make sure that you have everything that you need to continue doing such an amazing job. Um, so we have Kim that does that. We have Joy that helps um, get helps us kind of track and, and helps Mark and I with policies and, um, you know, just also a, a lot behind the scenes and, um, and, uh, my, my agency wouldn't be where it is today without joy. So we really appreciate you joy. Um, and joy does a lot too, with keeping our CRM cleaned out and making sure that texts go all that kind of stuff, um, that falls, falls under joy's expertise. And, um, today we just hired Abby, um, I am extremely excited um, to, to welcome Abby onto the team. Um, this is also part of our way of supporting Joy and Kim and all that they've been doing. They've been trying to track numbers, also doing all of the regular stuff. And um, if, you, if you've ever heard anything on a symmetry call, it's about, hey, you got to track your numbers. So Abby is coming on to help Mark and I track all of our data. So she'll be um, you know, just also keeping eyes on people's promotions and all that stuff. So when you, when you have promotions and you think that it's time to have, uh, you know, Hey, I've met this, I've met SNA, that type of thing. Um, Abby will be the one helping us check all of that, all of that information. Okay. Um, we have Richard. I don't think he's on this call. He had some other, um, he also work, helps us out with level up stuff. Um, he does all the graphics. So anything you see on social media, um, that is from Richard. So we appreciate all that he does to help promote us. And then also today we have a new intern. Welcome, Joanna. Um, she is here. Um, she is a member of the church that Philip and I uh, just started at. And she has a background in graphic design and, and um, communications. Uh, I'm, I'm still learning everything. But I know she can come and help us out. She's going to help manage our uh, websites that we have. And, um, and also she's going to be the one helping us with presentations for the different calls that we do. Um, so we're really excited to just kind of keep really keep propelling our agency forward. And, um, and so we can't do this alone, just like we can't uh, impact families all over America alone. We can't grow our business to the place it needs to be without the appropriate support staff in place. And so um, just wanted to edify them publicly and let you guys know how much um, we, Mark and I, depend on them to keep things going. And so, you know, um, please also just know they are working extremely hard. And so if something comes up and you have a question and they're not able to get to it immediately, um, I promise we're there, they are diligently working on your behalf. And, um, and so we, we're just, we see this all of us as together. Um, if you personally are looking for a VA and you're thinking, Hey, I, I could use something like this just for me personally, um, reach out and let me know through Level Up and through through our systems here. We can get um, we can get you the support that you need as well. There's even some opportunities to kind of come in and co-op and kind of work together with our virtual assistants um, to help kind of share that share that cost getting started. But um, anyways, just wanted to to edify the support team a little bit, um, let you know what they're doing. Um, I, I got to tell you guys when when I have new agents that come and ask me about Agent Sync. I honestly cannot answer those questions because Kim handles all of it for me. <laughs> um, when someone asks, hey, I need some help understanding this back end thing, like our admins and support staff handle all of that for us. So if you've got a question about those things, they are they are the experts. They know how, what to do and how to handle it. And uh, we just appreciate them so much. That's awesome. Yes, we do. Oh my goodness. There's no way we could sustain even the 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 agency let alone the growth without the admins and and everything that you guys do i cannot tell you if you guys think about the request that maybe you call me or betsy or you know any of the other leaders with um and, and leaders included right any questions we have and then multiply that by the number of people in our agency that's what they're dealing with every day and and so you know have a heart and do know we have some new protocols in place. Um, you will, if you please, guys, you know you can call me. I'm very accessible, but I'll just have you know, 
I'm, I, I don't call Chris Cook. He'll, he'll ask why I'm calling him. He'll say, ask Tina, right? Ask Tina. Anybody that's been here for a spell knows you call Tina, not Chris. Now, I'm not saying you can't call me. Go for it. But if you've got some issues, please use the admin number just the same and be confident that they will get back with you within 24 hours, right? They may not get back to you in five minutes. They may not get back with you that night, but they will get back with you within 24 hours to address the issue. So if you don't have that number, Kim will put it in the chat and just know that's what you got. That's the number you guys need to program in your phone as, as the bat phone, right? And, mm -hmm. and that's how you'll get your help. That's going to help um, all of us streamline everything to the better. And yeah, um, actually, if I can add to that, thanks, Mark. I, I forgot to mention that. Um, Kim, yeah, if you'll put the office number in there, um, and I, I don't know if we got it set up quite yet, but Kim is also going to have a calendar. So if you're having issues like, hey, I'm not sure how to connect this, or I'm having a problem with Agent Sync, and you just want someone to hop on the computer with you and Zoom with you, she's going to have a calendar available that you can just book directly, and um, it'll have an appointment reminder and all that good stuff. So you can hop on with her, and she can help get that issue figured out for you. Issues with contracting. Um, onboarding, all that stuff that is available there. So we're going to get the phone number out. Um, the texting is, you're going to get a faster response with texting. We are able to manage that within our level up CRM. So all the admin staff have access to that. So um, that text it, text it first that you'll probably get a, a quicker response. And then it might even be like, oh yeah, hey, let's just hop on a Zoom. And then she can, um, you know, you can either book directly or um, she'll send you the link to book. Um, but we do have the phone number as well. And and like Mark said, we're not trying to to not be accessible and not help you. But honestly, we, we're we busy during the day. Like we've got so much stuff going on and we want to provide all, all of our agents and everybody with the support that you need. And this is why we have, um, this is why we have our support staff. So please go ahead and use the phone use the texting, um, use the use the automated booking. And that way that's going to just only help your business um, and just help all of us continue to grow. Thank you, Betsy. Great point. Does everybody know how to text and call that number? I know you know how to text and call, but does everybody understand the process? I'd be worried if you answered no before I, I clarified. All right, there we go, guys. Um, so as you know, conference is coming up. Cook Financial Conference in Las Vegas, April 13th and 14th. I had a, a actually a couple videos I was going to show. But I'm just going to show one clip real quick, guys, um, for the sake of time. And I want you guys to understand just how important this is, right? We talked about plugging in at the beginning of the call. I see 13 so far. Now, that doesn't include owner's packs that are going to be filled up, right? Um, but so far, I see 13 with everything confirmed on, on our agency. Now we've got a lot more agents than that on the team. So I ask you, and I ask you to, to ask your people, you know, who's serious about their career here? Who really wants to achieve something here, right? Who is looking for long-term success here? And who doesn't want to not be here in six months? Because conference is the difference maker. We don't, we, these are very cumbersome to put on that would takes a large investment from each of us leaders to put on, right? So just know that whatever the investment is, please don't call it a cost. Whatever the investment is for, for you or your agents to get to conference, it's being subsidized heavily by leadership, by Chris and Lauren, first and foremost, by Jordan and Jared and Val and Joe and Jeff and Troy and me right? So many others. We're investing in you guys, right? There's not some secret envelope that falls from the sky if we achieve a certain thing, right? We're doing this because we know how important it is. We're doing this because we know how effective it is in helping you take your business to the next level and how important it is to associate with each other on a regular basis in order to create, again, a connectivity that I just cannot describe. You're going to have to go. So please, Find a way there, get the ticket, and figure it out later, right? Steve and I's first conference, again, five, six guys in a van, sleeping on the floor in a motel. Sad as that sounds, that was our first conference because that's where we were at six years ago, okay? So no excuses. Get Thank God we're not doing that this year. Um, but no excuses, guys. 
get the ticket, figure it out, and identify those on your team that are serious too. Um, and and let's get those numbers up. 13, guys, I think there's more than 13 people. Just There's 24 people on this call. Half of you statistically haven't even registered for conference yet. Please. Leap of faith, maybe. But I'm the reason I'm saying please is because I care about you. Again, I can't care more than you do, so I'm going to stop there. But what uh, Hans and Franz used to say, hear me now and believe me later. This is the most important thing you'll do this year until the national conference. So give me a second. I'm going to share my share my screen again real quick. This is where I, I need the multiple. Okay, there we go. 50, 10. Hop over to Chrome. Oh, by the way, can somebody put the link to conference in the chat? I'd love if we get those. So we'll do like a Jerry Lewis telethon. Love if we can get those tickets sold while we're on. The phones are ringing off the hook, guys. Call in now. Get your tickets to conference. Um, I'm going to get you into Amber Welch keeps trying to enter. Let us know if you can't get in. Or David and Danelle, maybe if that was her third attempt. I think she's, if you guys don't see her in a minute, let me know. Um, because the poor thing's been trying to get in. All right, let me get this this up. Now, this guy's. I'm gonna I'm just gonna play a clip, right? There's a gentleman here at Symmetry who many of you are familiar with. His name is Danny Young. Danny Young is basically the the grandfather figure in all of Symmetry. He's been here for I think this will be his eighth year. He has a I, I has a multi multi million dollar agency. I tried to get his stats, but Chris Cook called me with him while we were hosting the meeting, so I don't have his stats. But let me tell you, he's on the advisory board. He's one of the biggest organizations in all of Symmetry, and his advice is is pure gold. This guy has so many isms and sayings and idioms that you you wouldn't even believe. He's very entertaining, but he's also very effective. He's been around the block, and he's the guy that you would never not want to take advice from. You can take his word as, as just pure platinum, right? So I, I have a clip from a meeting Danny put on about their, about a conference they were doing that I think just, just might be important to play here. Um, let me just find out where I'm stopping because I'm not going to play the whole thing. There we go. Here's the screen. Danny's just an amazing guy. I hope you guys can hear this, unlike last week. Are we sharing sound, Kim? Click play mode. Okay. Can you hear that? Yes. Good. Danny, how are you, man? First off, thank you so much. Hey, I'm doing great. Uh, I'm doing all right. I, hey, look, I got up this morning. My my feet hit the floor. My head didn't follow. So that's a good day. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, same as <laughs> um, uh, Alex Jefferson versus Jim Russ has been and, uh, best friend and F1 and just blessed. Man. Um, my question for you is for the new folks that might be being like questioning whether or not they should or have can they afford quote unquote to go to this upcoming conference we have coming up in about six weeks <laughs> to the folks i want you to if you would danny talk, talk to the folks that are asking themselves or telling themselves that question or that mindset what would you tell them if they were brand new in your agency and you've got a conference with uh, again the pathos organization coming up you guys hear it okay no distortion or anything okay mo did you say no six weeks if they're questioning whether or not they can or should afford to go well the reality is you can't you can't afford not to go i mean it's just and here's why nobody symmetry 11 years old nobody has ever won here not going to conference nobody now you may be the first your guy may be the first okay i wouldn't take that chance i've had people go to something that they could not afford change their life because if you see here's what i know i know that if you if you don't go you're going to be the same person 
that you were the date of the conference. If you do go, could change your life. See how many how many chances do you think you get in in, in your 80, 90 years on earth? How many chances do you think you get to change your life? See, what you don't want is you don't want opportunity knocking on your front door and you're out in the backyard looking for a four-leaf clover and you miss it. See, how many, how many times do you think opportunity is going to knock on your front door? I, I, I just never was good enough to take that chance. So I've had, look, I've had people go to conference and they, they've got, you know, 15 in a room. They, they eat Ritz crackers for three days or whatever. But I promise you this. I will promise you. You go. You'd be glad you go. You'd be so glad you go. People, there's story after story after story of people that go to the conference, their first conference, their second conference, whatever. Because once again, the difference between winning and losing is microscopic. See, because everything you go to, every call you get on, gives you a piece to your puzzle that you're trying to put together. And if you don't go to a conference, you don't get that piece. And look, you may get it at the next conference. You probably won't be here for the next conference. Or you may never get it. Or you want to take a chance on never getting the piece to your puzzle that changes your family's life forever. This, look, this is this is big stuff here. This is this is not some kind of, hey, if you come here, we'll show you how to sell more makeup or something. It ain't, it ain't like this at all. This is life-changing stuff. Look, I, I built in three, in three years. I've been here seven and a half. But I built in three years the foundation of an agency that's going to determine in large part how my grandchildren and grandchildren get to live. Now, they not, that may not mean anything to any of y'all. That means an awful lot to me in San Diego. But see, I went to everything. I still go to everything. Look, Marshall and Edward, Smith Brothers, Delaney, they don't, they don't go to conference because they have become successful. They are successful because they have been going to conference. Now, I've been to two or three a year now for seven years, but it's 20 something. I, I can't, I can't afford to miss it. How can I let somebody else go to conference and get something they're going to use to beat me with? They ain't going to happen. I'm going, but see, because I got people there. So if you want to get more people and look here, Alex here to answer your question, this is going to sound kind of harsh probably. If somebody you recruit, if you're going to spend all your time trying to figure out how to get this person to do something, I'm, I'm, I'm going to save some of y'all hundreds and hundreds of thousands of hours of frustration right here, okay? Your job is not to get somebody else to do something. Your job is to get you to do something. And then you go recruit people who can get themselves to do something. We spend so much energy on people that can't get themselves to do anything. And we think we can change people. You know, you think you can teach a pig to sing. You cannot. Pig's not going to learn how to sing and you're going to stay frustrated. Go find somebody that can sing, dude. So if somebody doesn't want to go to conference, see, because my message to my team is you don't have to go, but I promise you that we work with people. See, we help people who are trying to help themselves. And you go to conference because you're trying to help yourself. Now, if you can't go to conference, you can't try to help yourself. Why would you expect us to try to help you? I mean, I've got the same 24 hours a day that y'all have. I've got to decide so my, my biggest decision every day. You're an AO, Jim. Your biggest decision every day is who gets your time because you only got so much. And every minute, every minute that you give to the wrong person is a minute that you stole from the right person. You can't afford to do that. You don't have enough time. So, you know, as, here's what I know about conference. The right people will be there. The ones that you're going to win with will be there because you cannot win with people that don't want to win. And, and people that don't go to conference don't want to win. They say whatever they want to say. They don't want to win. If it was important enough, look, if you were if you were to give everybody that goes to conference, if you were to give them $10,000 when they get there, do you think would more people would go to the conference? Probably. So. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. See, the conference is worth way more than 10000 They just can't see it yet. So what you do is, so there are only three things you do with your people, Alex, and this, 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 this covers everything, okay? You expose them to all materials. 
They come out with a new product. They come out with a new thing. They, they got a new book. Like, well, you expose them to it. You can't make them use it and make them read it, whatever. But you can be excited about it. Second thing is you expose them to all events. We're having a conference. We're having a conference call. We're having a Zoom. We're having this. We're having that. You be excited about it. You be excited about them being on it, being present. But you can't make them get on it. And the third thing you do is you set an example. You want your people to make money? You make money. You want to recruit? You recruit. You want them to, to go to conference? You go to conference. That's all you can do for people, those three things. Material, events, set an example. That's it. And so, you know, you like them all to go, but not all going to go. <clears throat> the ones that don't go are going to fail. <clears throat> just realize that up front. They're going to fail. And you just do your best selling the, the conference, the importance of it, the fact that nobody's ever won without going. And if you're going to be there, you're going to be fired up. You hope to see them there. And, if, you know, if they, if they don't think they can afford to, you can, you know, you can get them in a room with another 13 people. Thank you, Dan. Yeah. So, Jim, can I? All right, guys, that's Danny Young. Just an amazing guy. Amazing influence. And to some, that might have sounded like common sense. And hopefully, to some of you, it impacted you a bit. It, it, this is one of the most successful people here. He's, he's cultivated so many leaders um, throughout Symmetry. Uh, I'm sure you, all of you that are tuning into the national calls with Tyler Harris and Ashley Harris. Right, you're hearing him talk about Ashley Tarr on old recordings. Many of you listen to Ashley, Ashley in the home, right, to learn how to do your mortgage protection. That's who I learned from. Ashley Tarr, Ashley Harris came from Danny Young, right? Steve and I's friend Marty Valor uh, was stolen by Ben Sipapur over there. Uh, ben Sipapur, Marty Valor, uh, Fred and Gabby. Like there is just so so many winners in symmetry that you guys know because of the national calls and so on and so on that are in that organization because they abide by his philosophies. And I, I could have said that in a much different way, right? I would have said that in a much different way because I'm me. I'm not going to speak to all of you. I'm not going to resonate with all of you, right? Um, some, of, some of you I may, but it's why I like symmetry because we all work together and we understand this is about who, not how, right? This is all about plugging into the right message, the right people, and going to conference. I hope that spoke to at least one of you in a, in a much different way than I ever have, because that's just a, a just a tiny, a, a, a infinitesimal um, example of what conference can do for you, right? You, you'll never hear from a guy like that. You're never going to hear from Jeff Miller in the same way that you might hear from him on the huddles. You're never going to hear from Joe Martinez or Chris Cook or Jordan Gillum, you just aren't unless you go, right? And the more that we work together, the better off we're going to be. So that's enough on that. Again, not harping, just want you guys to know the importance. And as Danny said, we can't make you do anything, but but it's uh, definitely a must if you want success here. And that's the link. It's in the chat. Now we have some pretty exciting things. Before we go, guys, uh, we have our contest, right? We announced this last week. We promised you a graphic. We're so thankful um for for um the team for putting this together but this is our conference you guys can screenshot i'm just going to walk through it real quick but you fill 10 tickets you're going to get 250 dollars in opt level up leads or recruiting credit if you have an owner's pack that you fill you're going to get an additional 150 so if you if you sell 10 tickets right you're going to get the 250. But if those 10 tickets were part of an owner's pack because you had that faith in your business and you said, I'm going to set myself a goal and I'm going to fill it, we're going to give you an owner's bonus of $150. That's $400 total opt level up leads or recruiting credit uh, for you. Also, and that's unlimited. It's not like first come, first serve this for everybody, anybody, right? You can get this, any of these. Now, if, if you sell 20 tickets, Mind you, this is the organization wide, right? So this isn't per person. If you've got an organization, you've got some agents, as long as you're following the 50% rule, your organization numbers count, right? Now, 20 tickets, $400 in opt or level up leads or recruiting credit. If you filled an N owner's pack, even just one owner's pack out of those 20, you're going to get an additional $250. That's $650. 
um, that that should pretty much cover your trip, right? So that's a that's one that we're thrilled to offer. And again, it's not first come first serve. This for anybody and everybody. Organization numbers, fifty percent rule applies. So talk to your teams. And then of course the grand prize is um, a minimum of twenty five registered and shown attendees. So if across your organization you have twenty five registered and shown attendees, and the fifty percent rule applies. Um, you will have your ticket and nightly hotel fee covered from Wednesday to Saturday. You'll get a 5% raise on your commission contract, up to 105% contract, and a $500 capital recruiting bonus for your business. And, and again, it's a big ask, so it's a big prize. But anyone that achieves this will also qualify for a Leader Builders uh, dinner celebration on me. So whether it's one of us or 10 of us, we're all going to go. Um, we'll have a nice dinner. We'll get to strategize. We'll get to know each other better. Um, and it'll be a great time. So those are the prizes. Take, take some pictures. <clears throat> I do, to let you guys know how important this is, I had an appointment that was that was to take place at one o'clock. It's 1.21. Um, I notified them I'd be a little late. They said, okay, but you guys know how that goes. So th that's how important this is to me. I could be sacrificing four or $5,000 right now to tell, tell you about this. Um, and I'm not saying that's pat myself on the back. I'm saying it to let you guys know why I think all this stuff is so key. And I love our meetings. I love our get togethers. That's conference recruiting. We're going to go over next week because I am 20 minutes late and I know you guys have things to do as well. But next week, guys, we're going to do a walkthrough on how to set up a LinkedIn business page. Um, super quick. It'll take about two minutes. Um, and then we're going to show you how to place an ad. I'm going to share my ad copy in, in the meeting, the chat, so that you can just copy and paste. And I'll show you some tips and tricks about how to make LinkedIn work for you because they do have an algorithm that you kind of have to play with in order to make get the most out of it. Um, and then we're going to talk about Level Up's agent success uh, co-op. The, the Level Up co-op is a great thing. Randy, David, Divine, like you see these people topping out the recruiting leaderboards because they're using the, the Level Up recruiting funnel, right? So really great stuff there. Um, and then we're going to tell you what to do with those people once you hire them, right? So we're going to talk about the whole recruiting process next week, how to interview, first how to place the ad, what to go through on an interview, and then what to do once you've decided to hire somebody, right? And also we're going to cover promotions and levels of leadership. I think it's really important that you guys understand how to achieve these. Um, we only have a partial picture here, but next week we'll have the entire, uh, please guys, all the way up to 130. And the slingshot goals included on a second slide. So we'll go through promotions, levels of leadership, and any questions you guys might have about that stuff. All right. Anybody, quick questions before we jump? Anything you want to discuss? And more so, anything you guys want to hear about on future meetings that maybe we haven't covered? And don't, don't, this isn't a training call. So um, recruiting is a little different because we don't have so much training on recruiting. We got plenty of recruiting on production. That's why I want to do recruiting next week. But questions, comments, or any topics that you want us to consider for future meetings, I'd love to hear it. All right, text me, email me, call me with suggestions if you think of something. Um, welcome new people. If this is your first meeting, you're lucky because they were kind of messy before. Um, we're working on refining these these meetings. Um, I'll 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 make sure to zip through leaderboards, but I do want to properly edify. And these meetings will normally be around 45 minutes to an hour, okay? We'll just have a little nugget each week for you. Um, there will be special things like the Joe Martinez recording. I just emailed uh, leaders here that have attended. Please get those to your agents that you'd like to share that with. Um, and we'll just have little special nuggets um, for everybody that attends. So again, just let people know where we are. It's up to them whether or not they want to plug in. And I thank you guys so much for the work again production and recruiting leaderboards. Let's do that again this week. I thank you so much for everything. Um, if you're not getting what you wish you'd get out of me for any reason, let me know because I'm here for you first and foremost. That's that's how we really grow a business and that's how we grow a family together. Um, so if you feel I'm falling short on anything or something you'd, you'd prefer to see that you're not, let me know, okay? You can't hurt my feelings. We're all, we're all here to learn and grow. Um, the minute you stop learning and growing, there's no use to be here on earth anymore, right? So 
um, teach and learn. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Mark. You too. Bye, guys. Bye.